All right. So you've done all your own research. You love Star Atlas. You want to purchase your very first Star Atlas ship. And this video is going to show you everything you need to do to purchase your ship using your mobile device sitting right on your couch. Super easy. Hope that you like it. This is not financial advice. This video is for informational purposes only. Let's go. All right. So we are going to buy one spaceship from the star atlas marketplace um the very first thing we got to do is we have to obtain some solana it's a type of cryptocurrency that star atlas is run on in order to buy solana you actually need some type of exchange and there's all sorts of exchanges out there but you need a cryptocurrency exchange that will turn your native currency into a cryptocurrency in this case solana um, I happen to be using Coinbase right now. It's one of the most regulated exchanges in the United States of America and probably one of the most popular other than Binance, possibly. Um, so I have my Coinbase wallet right here. I'm going to type in Soul right here. So I hit Soul and you can see Soul USD. Soul is short for Solana. I'm going to buy some Solana. All right, success. This was part one. Now we have some Solana in our wallet. We have 1988 in Solana. So it cost me 12 cents to buy that Solana through the exchange. Not bad. All right. So you did all your own research and you decided that you want to buy a ship to start playing in the Star Atlas metaverse. First thing you're gonna wanna do, if you come over to the Star Atlas, main Star Atlas website, you can see that little button on the right that said play now, and that'll bring you over to this Star Atlas marketplace. And if you look on the left side, there's a little, um, looks like a shopping cart. And if you click on that, scroll on down and click on that, that'll bring you over to the different items that you can buy. One of those items is ships. Click on that. You can scroll down and see what they offer. They offer ships in various prices, but we're looking for one as a starter ship. We're looking for a low cost ship here. And this Fimble air bike will do just what well, just perfectly. You can see the original offering $15, a second wave $20, but we're looking for a cheaper version of this ship and you can see there is sellers and buyers. Buyers at the bottom are people that are putting in bids for ships. So that's not what we want to look at. We want to look at sellers. And if you look just below the highlighted blue star atlas, you'll see one that starts with golf. This is the seller that's selling it for the least, the least um, cost that you can possibly buy it. And it's $2 and roughly $2.75. So if we click on that, um, it'll it'll actually want us to connect to a wallet. And one of the wallets, or the wallet that um, runs the best, is the Phantom wallet that they recommend. It's the wallet that runs the best with Solana and the Star Atlas Metaverse. You could use whatever wallet that you would like. A lot of people prefer to use a hardware wallet such as Ledger. But in this demo, what we're going to do is we're going to go and check out this Phantom Wallet right here. So when you click on that, it actually brings you to the Phantom Wallet website, the actual real website, not a scam website. And you can scroll through and read all the information and do your own research again. None of this is financial advice. This is just for informational purposes. So we are going to see what they offer. They offer we're using a mobile version. So if we're using a apple product or an android product we have both of those right here to choose from um, this is an ipad so i'm gonna that i'm using the demo on so i am going to click on that 
Apple version. <clears throat> Below that, you can see different plugins for different um, browsers if you're using the desktop version. Um, on my desktop, I use the Microsoft Edge browser and I use that plugin and it works seam seam seamlessly. I, um, I think you have to add a password in your email if you're using that version of it. I haven't tried the other browser versions, but I've seen online that um, different people are using the both the Brave and the Chrome and they seem to be working great also. But in this demo, we're gonna hit the Apple version of it and we're gonna go, go to the iTunes store and you can see I had downloaded it before and that was on my phone but we're using this iPad so we're gonna hit that and let it download here for a second trying to do everything as real time as I possibly can now we can open the phantom crypto wallet hold on one sec my thumb ID never works give me a sec here I'll enter my passcode All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new wallet. In this demo right here, we're guessing that you have not had a phantom wallet before in the past. If you did, you would hit, I already have a wallet and you'd enter your key phrase. But what we are doing is we're gonna create a new wallet. So we will hit that button right here. Hold on one second. All right, the next thing that happens is that we have a secret recovery phrase that we will have to write down. You do not want to lose this phrase. This is this is your key to get into your wallet if you ever need to or lose um, your wallet on your phone or you want to add your wallet onto another d device or if you want to enter the the actual game itself you will need the, this 12 word key phrase it is super important that you don't take a screenshot of it you don't save it on your phone anywhere you want it on a separate piece of paper and put it someplace safe put it someplace that you can still access it you won't forget about it um but do not share this with anyone else do not share it with anyone that is trying to scam you in an email or anyone that is saying that um, you need this information because they're pretending to be a Star Atlas um, developer or something like that. So we're gonna go beyond this, what's next? This is just asking to make sure that we wrote down the recovery phrase, which we did. All right, it says we're all done. Ooh, all right. So now we have to agree to the terms of service. You can click on this and you can read through all the boring terms of services. But if that's something that you always do, I definitely recommend you doing it. Ask you if you want any updates. Enable or not now. Now you can see our wallet is completely empty. We're gonna have to add in some Solana to it. Um, we need this Solana in order to purchase our ship. So hold on, what we're gonna do is, I'm sorry, let me back this up. So see on the deposit button right there, we're gonna touch that deposit button. And when we hit, that deposit button we're going to click on solana and that's going to give us our solana address we're going to hit that little button that says copy and that will copy our solana address into our clipboard in our phone or our mobile device now we're going to go open up our coinbase wallet where we have our solana we're going to click on our solana in the my assets section and right on the number 1984 right there we're going to click on that number and then you'll see that little arrow at the very top right hand corner i'm going to click on that i'm going to paste in my phantom wallet 
address. I'm going to send $5 in Solana over to the Phantom Wallet. There we go. Coinbase is asked, going to ask a security question. They're going to text me a number. We're going to punch that number in and successfully sent. Now we're going to go back over to our Phantom Wallet. Deal with my iPad thumbprint not working here for a sec. We're going to check to see. And look at that. Five bucks is inside our phantom wallet. So that is a success. Now we can buy a ship. All right. So we got our five bucks in our phantom wallet. Now the next thing we need to do is turn that five bucks into usdc the type of cryptocurrency stable coin and that's you could buy the ships with two things you can buy it with usdc or you can buy it with the atlas token which is the native token um of star atlas but the ship that we checked out earlier was um usdc so at the very bottom you'll see the two arrows going right and left you click on those two arrows and it brings you to the swap token page. And this is actually pretty cool and really easy. What we're going to do is we're going to select our certain tokens right here. I'm just doing an example of all the different tokens you can choose, but right off the bat, it gave us soul into USDC. So what we're going to do, we don't want to change all our Solana into USDC. We want it, We need a little bit of Solana to actually um, process all our payments for buying ships and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're, we're just going to get close enough to that $2.75 that we needed to purchase that one ship. So look at $2.88. Close enough. Agree to terms and services. I'm going to hit the swap button. And... Oh. Oh, right here, it just basically is telling us the, the, the price impact. We hit swap. Now it's swapping those tokens. All right, all it's done. Tokens have been deposited into your wallet. Now, sometimes it just takes a couple seconds to swipe up and down a few times. Ooh, hold on, there it is, USDC. $2.91 and we still have a $1.99 Solana which is good because we're going to need that for the processing fee. I mean we don't need that much but you'll see what what I'm talking about in just a sec. All right see on the lower right hand corner of your wallet is a little picture of like what looks like a world. Ooh, sorry about that. You click on that little picture and it'll bring you up to the World Wide Web, where you can search right in Google. So we're going to type in Star Atlas at the top there. Google brought us to the actual main website. We're going to hit play now. It brings us to the showroom marketplace. We're going to go to the marketplace. We're going to go down to ships and find ships here in the marketplace. Hold on. Oops, scroll down. That little button that says oh. and ships, we're going to hit sort. We're going to go to the price with the arrow pointing up. Actually, in that case, it gives us the prices of the ship, um, the least cost ship to the most expensive ship. There's our Fimble air bike that we're going to buy. Let's click on that. View item. All right. Let's go down to this guy that was selling it for roughly $2.75. $2.74. Point six zero USDC. We'll connect our phantom wallet. This is the first time you have to do it, you have to agree to the terms of service read all that if you'd like i'd like to connect my wallet it's gonna 
It's going to need you to verify that. Now our wallet is connected. So we can X out of that. And there's our Fimble Air Bike. You can see the USDC that we have available to us is actually a little bit more now. It's $2.91 and change cents. The price for the bike that we're going to buy is $2 and roughly 75 cents. Why don't we hit that buy one item and see what happens. We have to, we're going to have to hit approve if we like everything here on the screen. The network fee is 0 0.00012 cents in Solana, but that's a little bit of Solana that I was saying that we need to actually process the fee. So that's why you have to always keep a little bit of Solana in your wallet at all times in order to play the Star Atlas game. Once we hit approve here, we should be able to purchase our Fimble air bike. All right, order complete. We bought one Fimble air bike for $2 and roughly 75 cents from that one seller. So now we can X out of this. We can get all the way back to our main wallet. And if we reset our wallet here, it takes sometimes just takes a second. There it is. Now you can see that our most of our USDC is gone. Um, it has been used to purchase our Fimble Air Bike. And if you look at the very bottom, you'll see the money sign. That's our actual wallet. So the next button over is our collectibles. And if we reset it, there it is. Our Fimble Air Bike is in our wallet. We made our purchase. We have done it. We are now part of the Star Atlas Metaverse. Real soon, we're going to be able to use that bike in what is what is called the Sage game. And we're also going to hopefully real soon be able to fly it around in the showroom. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to show you how to stake that ship um, in the faction fleet. So I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope it was informational. Um, none of this was financial advice. I'm sorry I have to keep saying that, but enjoy, man. Hope you guys all have a great day. Later, cadets.